Welcome to ACP DM training. So today we will be starting our next topic that is Rise of W's in SAP projects. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what are Rise of W's in SAP, SAP projects. Need for Rise of W's, why we need to work on the Rise of W's. The role of a functional consultant in Rise of W's. What is the role as a functional consultant we are going to perform in this rise of w's and examples of rise of w's for each rise of w i will show you example in the system today and then we will understand what is functional specification document okay and in the subsequent sessions we will create we will see how to create a functional specification document for each each of these rise of objects okay so basically during the realization of any project during the realization phase of any projects all the functional and the technical sap consultants work on the sap rise of w's so so during the sap any sap implementation or rollout project okay so after the initial preparation phase and then blueprinting phase the next third phase will be the realization phase so during the realization phase phase they will work on this rise of w's okay not only functional even the technical team technical sap consultants like abap consultants will work on this rise of w's okay sap rise of w objects fall outside of standard sap functions and are divided into the following so basically these rise of objects are uh, required if you need any function outside of standard sap function okay suppose let's say you are not able to achieve uh, any function or any any activity in the standard sap then you will go for this rise of w's okay so this rise of w's are we will we will discuss one by one first is r means reports i means interfaces c means conversion okay e means enhancements f means forms and w means workflow we will discuss one by one and these rise of w's are not only applicable to pm module these are applicable to all the sap modules like mm uh, pp qm sd uh, for all the modules these are applicable okay development of these items will be dealt separately in large project projects okay so basically in the project team you will have a technical team and the functional team they will together work on this rise of w's a separate team will work on the development of programs and scripts etc so basically some people call it as a abap team some people call it as a technical team okay some people call it as a development team all this team will work on these programs after getting the inputs from the functional functional team functional consultants okay so these are the ones we will be discussing in detail first one r means reports reports standard sap comes with some standard reports okay on top of that if you need any extra reports custom reports then you have to go for reports so these reports can be developed by abap team okay or ba team okay or or various other methods you can develop these reports i'll show you a custom report in the system system okay and then in the subsequent sessions in the next classes we will see in detail how to write a functional specification document for a custom report taking a real time example we will see that then interfaces i means interfaces interfaces means in the organizations even though they are using a cp they will be using some other third party applications so uh, we need to send our data to the, the third party application from a cp to the third party application and also sometimes based on the requirement you need to receive the data from the third party application to sap so that is handled through interfaces so the tools for this interfacing are these ones rfc remote function calls idocs Bappies, okay some other tools some other tools okay when we go to the interface session we will discuss about all these tools in detail okay and also we will see how to write a functional specification document 
in case of interfaces like for pm uh, the interface third party application is like normally maximum okay so that we will discuss next one is c conversion c means conversions conversions means during the implementation or rollout you have to take the data from the third party system master data and the open transactional data and that you will load it into sap using these tools using these ones bdc's bappies lsmws okay even idocs ale okay and uh, in the s4 hana you have this ldmc so that that is called conversion basically data uploads basically okay data upload tools next one is enhancements e means enhancements enhancements means during sap uh, when we perform a, up any uh, function in sap sometimes some requirements you cannot achieve through standard sap so that the, in that case you go for these enhancements okay so here we will be using user exits baddies modifications and some clone programs so when we when we go to enhancement session that time we will see what is exactly the enhancement in detail i will give you a real time example in the system and also how to write a functional specification document for enhancements then we will go for next one is f f means forms forms means printouts so in the industries uh, normally due to various requirements they will take the printouts suppose let's say the in the in the case of pm plan maintenance suppose let's say after creating the maintenance order okay the technician has to take the spare parts from the engineering warehouse the spare parts required for the machine repair he has to take the spare parts from the warehouse so for that he will take a printout containing the details of the spare parts and he will go to the warehouse and he will ask them to issue those spare parts so how to take that print form so those things we will see these are the tools used to develop these forms so when we go to the forms session forms class that time i will show you a tip uh, i will show how to create a functional specification document in case of developing a custom forms then workflow workflow w means workflow workflow means sending the uh, data from one person to another person in the organization at a hierarchy level that is called workflow okay so we will see all these things in detail so first we will start with the reports reports okay so what is a report a SAP report is an executable program that reads data from the database and generates output based on the filter criteria selected by the end user. Okay, so basically, SAP report is basically based on your filter criteria. It will give you a output. It will give you the data. It will provide you the data. Okay, it displays the data based on the filter selection. I will show you that. Okay. There are three categories of reports. There are three categories of reports. Standard SAP reports. This we discussed already. Like in our in our PM module, we have W IW28 for notification list for uh, orders IW38 for uh, equipments report IH08. So we have this custom report, uh, standard reports. On top of that, we can generate a custom report based on the client requirement okay and also you have queries using queries we can develop custom reports uh, this we will see when we go to the queries talk so when the standard sap reports does not meet the client or business requirement we have to develop custom reports with the help of adaptive so normally whenever a standard sap report doesn't meet the client requirement due to some xyz reasons okay then you as a functional consultant need to develop the report with the help of technical team about team there you need to coordinate you have to provide the functional specification documents okay uh, you have to give your inputs to the technical team okay once they develop the report you have to test it whether it is working properly or not once it is tested you need to inform the business team client team once they say okay once they also test and they say okay then you need to move it to the production system from development to quality and from quality to uh production system okay so this is one of the example of a custom report developed in one of my project you see pm notification summary report this is the selection screen this is the selection screen and this is the output once you execute the report this is the output okay so let me show you this in the system 
okay so normally we have standard reports as you know we have a lot of standard reports okay like iw28 for notifications okay we have this iw28 if you recollect iw28 these are standard reports so if you execute suppose let's say if i execute this report you will get the notifications i just execute okay you got the notifications okay and also we have iw38 for orders these are all standard reports iw38 okay so this is the order report we have seen all these reports standard reports in our in our uh, reports session okay so now i'll show you a custom reports so in one of my project they asked for a notification report where once the notification is created they will it, they will convert this to order so they want to see how many days the user took to convert the notification to the order they want to see the uh, those details when the notification is created and from that notification when the order is created and how many days it, they took so that they wanted a report so for that we have developed a custom report this is the one this is the one so it says the t code is zpmr underscore notif okay so here this is the selection screen selection screen suppose let's I'll enter the plant okay i'll enter the dates i'll enter the dates okay and just have execute okay so here if you see for the first two notifications you see here this is the notification number this is the plant this is a notification number notification type okay and equipment its description and the notification creation date okay and from this notification this order is created and on which date the order is created they want to see so this is a notification creation date this is an order creation date. Okay. Okay. I'll do one thing. Let me keep it simple. I'll put it as an entry date. Okay. Let me execute. Okay. Now you see here for the first notification, they took only one day. On the same day, they created the order also. Same date. Notification creation date, order creation date, same. But for the second one, you see notification is created on the 26th and the order is created on the 28th. So they took two days two days so they wanted a report like this so for this we have generated a custom report so in the next class we will see what is this selection screen what is output and how to create a functional specification document to develop this report we will see in detail when we go to the that particular session okay so this is the example of a, a report custom report okay so now we will talk about interfaces interfaces so what are interfaces in most of the companies 